This video shows how to fix your HP printer when the ink carriage jams and a carriage jam error message displays on your printer's control panel or on your computer. Use the following step to make sure the carriage can move freely. The printer must be on for this step to work. Open the cartridge access door. The carriage might try to move into the access area. If it does, allow it to move to that position. Turn to the back. While the printer is still on, disconnect the power cord from the printer. Disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Return to the front. Look inside the printer and check for obstructions around the carriage that could prevent it from moving. Use a flashlight to thoroughly search the area. Remove any obstructions that are found. Check the rollers and wheels for any torn pieces of paper that might remain inside the printer. If pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more jams are likely to occur. Move the carriage to the left side. Using a flashlight, check the right side of the carriage path for any obstructions. Remove any obstructions that are found. Then, move the carriage to the right side and check the left side of the carriage path for any obstructions. Remove any obstructions that are found. Once all obstructions are removed and the carriage can move the full width of the carriage path, close the cartridge access door. Turn to the back. Reconnect the power cord into the printer. Reconnect the other end of the power cord into its power source. Return to the front. If the printer does not automatically turn on, press the power button to turn on the printer. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the printer's control panel, Touch the Settings button. This button looks like a small wrench. Touch Tools. And then touch Printer Status Report. The test page prints. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If you're using a USB cable, reconnect it to the printer and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. Sometimes improper installation or placement of the ink cartridges can cause a carriage jam. In this step, you will fix this problem. The printer must be on for this step to work. Open the cartridge access door. The carriage will move into the access area. Allow the carriage to stop moving. Then, remove the cartridges. To do this, lift the cartridge cover to release it. Pull the cartridge out to remove it from the slot. Repeat for the other cartridge. When handling the cartridges, be aware of the electrical contacts and ink nozzles. Be careful not to touch the contacts or nozzles because touching these can cause clogs, ink failures, and poor electrical connections. Make sure you reinsert the cartridges into the correct slots, tricolor on the left and black on the right. Hold the cartridge with the ink nozzles toward the printer and slide it directly into the open slot. Lower the cartridge cover and push down until it latches into place. Repeat for the other cartridge. Close the cartridge access door. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the printer's control panel, touch the Settings button. This button looks like a small wrench. Touch Tools and then touch Printer Status Report. The test page prints. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If you're using a USB cable, reconnect it to the printer and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. In this step, you will plug the printer directly into a wall outlet to make sure the power source is functioning correctly. Press the power button to turn off the printer. Turn to the back. Disconnect the power cord from the printer. Then, disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Plug the power cord directly into a wall outlet. Plug the other end of the power cord into the printer. 
Return to the front. Press the power button to turn on the printer. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the printer's control panel, touch the Settings button. This button looks like a small wrench. Touch Tools. And then touch Printer Status Report. The test page prints. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If you're using a USB cable, reconnect it to the printer and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. If you've tried everything described in this video and you still have a problem, your printer likely needs some type of service. Your options for service might vary depending on how long you've owned it and what country you live in. Contact HP to find out what the support options are for your printer. You can find additional helpful videos at hp.com forward slash support videos and on our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash hp printer support.